If you can't determine the errors in this work, well, you probably need to review some basic math. Let's take a look at the problem. So we have negative four squared divided by two times negative two. And the answer here is a negative four. So is this answer right? Well, if you wanna pause the video, just look at this for a second. We'll go through the steps and then you tell me whether there is an error in this work. So negative four squared divided by two times negative two. So it looks like this person said negative four squared is a positive 16 divided by two times negative two. Okay, so that is the first step taken in this solution. And then it looks like this person went two times negative two, which is negative four. So now we have 16 divided by a negative four or a positive divided by a negative, which is negative. So our final answer here is negative four. Okay, so did you find any errors in this work? Well, if you did, that is fantastic. Put that into the comment section. But uh, in fact, there are some errors, okay? And I'm gonna say errors as in plural. There's more than one error with this work. Okay, so let's take a look at one of these errors right now. So the first error here, and this is probably one that a lot of people missed, is negative four squared is not positive 16, all right? This is not the case. And I'll talk about this here in a second. But in fact, negative four squared is negative 16. Okay, so if you uh, caught that error, that is fantastic. Now there is another error here, and that error is right here. So even if this was a positive 16, this person multiplied before division. That is incorrect when it comes to the order of operations. So this is error number two. Okay, so we need to correct this error and this error and put this all together to get the right answer. Before we finish up the problem, take a quick second and hit that subscribe button. This really does help me out on YouTube and make sure to hit that bell notification as well. Now, the problem that we're doing in this video is basic mathematics. And if you want to uh, review basic math, or maybe you never really learned it correctly the first time around, make sure to check out my Math Foundations course. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description of this video. It's a quick, easy way to really recapture those basic math skills that all of us need to know. Okay, so let's finish up this problem. So finally, we're gonna do this problem right and before we kind of get into the actual correct solution, we want to review the proper order of operations or PEMDAS. So if you don't know the order of operations, I'm gonna go ahead and break it down real quick right now. So PEMDAS is an acronym and you can follow it from left to right that tells us the proper order of operations to follow to do a math problem. Now I'm saying the order of operations. I'm talking about mathematical operations, things like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, powers, etc. So these things are, are called mathematical operations. So when you have a problem, you need to follow the correct order. So in our problem here, we have powers, we have division and multiplication. So what do we do first? Well, again, we need to understand PEMDAS. Okay, so here is how this works. Again, this is a checklist that goes from left to right. So P stands for parentheses. If you have any parentheses, brackets, or any kind of grouping symbols in your problem, this is where you're gonna start first. Now, of course, our problem doesn't have any parentheses, but if it did, this is where we would start. Okay, now E stands for exponents. If I have like two to the third power, this little three right here, is called the uh, exponent of this entire power. The two is called the base. So if we have powers, that's what we're gonna do next. And of course here, we do have powers. Now the next thing that we're gonna do, and MDANS stand for multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So the next thing that we're gonna do is any multiplication and division, whatever we see first from left to right, and then uh, once we're done with any multiplication and division, we'll finish up any addition and subtraction. Again, whatever we see first from left to right. Okay, so we want to keep the order of operations or PEMDAS in mind as we go through this problem. 
Okay, so let's go through this right now. And the first error that the original work had was this negative four squared. All right, so let me kind of move up here so we can take a closer look at it. So a lot of people would think that negative four squared uh, is a positive 16. In fact, it's a negative 16. So you gotta be very careful here. Negative four squared does not mean parentheses negative four squared. Negative four squared written like this, in fact, is a positive 16. This is saying take the base negative four and multiply it by itself. So negative times a negative is a positive. So negative four times a negative four is a positive 16. But negative four squared written like this actually means something different. So the way this works is the following. So you can think of negative four squared as negative one times a positive four squared. Or you can kind of think of this as the opposite of four squared. Now, when we're thinking about the order of operations or PEMDAS, we're saying, okay, do we have any parentheses? No, we do not. Well, if I had like negative four squared like that, you could you kind of make the case that we do have parentheses, but we don't have parentheses here. So we're gonna move on to any exponents or powers. And the power uh, part of this problem is this right here, four squared. So four squared is a positive 16. And this uh, negative sign outside of that positive 16 really means a negative one times a positive 16, which of course is negative 16. Now I'm spending a lot of time on this because this is a very, very common error that people make. So be careful. Again, negative four squared, in fact, is a negative 16. All right, so this was our first mistake. Now, the second error that um, we determined, or hopefully you determined, was that someone did the multiplication next. And that is not right, because we have division and multiplication. So going back to our PEMDAS here, so let's kind of uh, just go through the checklist from left to right. So do we have any parentheses? No. Do we have any powers? Yes, but we took care of those uh, powers, any powers that we had. We have negative 16 here. So do we have any multiplication and division in this problem? Yes, we do. So what do we see first from left to right? Well, we see the division first, right? So division is what we see first from left to right, not the multiplication. So we would not multiply two times negative two first. So we have negative 16 divided by a positive two. A negative divided by a positive is negative. So negative 16 divided by a positive two is negative eight. So finally, we're down to negative eight times negative two. A negative times a negative is positive. So our final correct answer is a positive 16. Okay, so hopefully you found all the errors in this problem. And if you did, that is fantastic. You're well on your way to becoming a math teacher. And as a math teacher, you grade a ton of quizzes, homework, tests, et cetera, et cetera. But the great thing about identifying any mistakes, and by the way, if you made these mistakes, no big deal. Matter of fact, it's great uh, news because now you know what uh, mistakes you were making, right? A big part of learning math is making errors and correcting what you don't understand. Okay, so hopefully this little video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.